you keep increasing our rate, but what are we getting for it? New tonight, rate payers and advocates say the state needs to rein in one of Oregon's largest power companies. PGE is asking state regulators to approve another rate increase for next year. Good evening and thanks so much for joining us after the game for this special edition of K2 News. I'm Barry Mangold. K2 investigator Wright Gazaway breaks down this latest request and has reaction from one ratepayer and advocate. This is 2023, my bills here. Doug Wagner spends a lot of time analyzing his power bills. See, this is my cost per kilowatt now. Doug says his per kilowatt cost this year is up almost 21 percent compared to last year. I can't correlate these numbers to their announced rate increases, 17 or 18 percent. The numbers don't line up. Doug's referencing the increase that hit his power bill in January. The fact his bill jumped higher than he was told to expect makes him wary about what the company says about future increases. Right now, the company is currently asking the Oregon Public Utility Commission to approve another 7.2 percent residential rate increase to go into effect in January 2025. When PGE says they're raising rates, what does that actually mean? And that's part of where I think there needs to be better transparency. Is we need the PUC to crack down and make PGE prioritize. Bob Jinks is the executive director of the Oregon Citizen Utility Board. Voters created it in the mid-80s, in part to look out for residential rate payers. Bob says customers simply can't afford another rate increase. Affordability is a key part and a key job of, of the utility. And if utilities not doing affordable rates, then it's not providing reasonable service. And, and regulators ought to crack down for it for not providing reasonable service. A recent PGE report to the state shows the utility cut off power for more than 4,700 customers in April for non-payment. Bob says it's the most they've ever recorded since the state started keeping track. He attributes that to January's rate increase and the winter storm. Very too much customers simply can't afford it. Uh, what we've been hearing from customers is enough is enough. The Public Utility Commission must approve PGE's requested rate increase. Megan Decker is the commission's chair. She appeared on Your Voice, Your Vote with Steve Dunn earlier this year to discuss how it decides on rate increase requests. Steve asked her if the commission takes into account past rate increases. She said yes. What we can do when affordability is at risk is ask utilities really tough questions about where they can reduce costs, defer costs, or eliminate them completely. But we really rely on a rigorous trial-like process to hold utilities accountable and make sure that we're only approving rates when the utilities have made a good case that costs are unavoidably rising. PGE says the requested increase for 2025 covers costs tied to storage projects, updates to the grid for transmission and distribution, and other technology improvements. These are extra charges above and beyond the energy charge. Doug says past increases have so far done nothing to improve reliability for him. We're not seeing improvement in our residential service. We're having to spend money to protect ourselves better. So that's kind of the other piece to all of this is you keep increasing our rate, but what are we getting for it? A question other rate payers may be asking as well. We reached out to PGE in mid-March to set up an interview on past and future rate increases. We hope to also discuss how many customers may be seeing higher increases than that 18% like Doug. The company declined our request last week on June 6th. A spokesperson sent us a statement you can read online right now. Meantime, we found costs are going up for you despite a surge in demand from other customers. The company's first quarter earnings report says the company's revenue increased due to a demand surge among semiconductor facilities and data centers. We're working on that part of the story for next Monday. At the Live Desk, I'm Ray Gasway. And it's not just PGE asking for rate increases. Northwest Natural and Pacific Power are also asking for one. Northwest Natural is requesting a roughly 19% rate increase for residential customers. That would go into effect November 1st. The Public Utility Commission needs to make a decision by the end of October. And Pacific Power separately is requesting a nearly 22% increase for residential rate payers. That would go into effect in January 2025. The PUC must make a decision there 
by the end of December.